Tin Martin is my country, I am proud to brag about. She has been so good to me, I will boast and I will shout. Tin Martin, I will praise you, I am proud to be a part. I will sing to the top of my voice, I love you with all my heart. With all the hurricanes that we have suffered over the years, you still strong, strong, strong. The COVID derailed us, you're strong and that's a fact. Welcome to the Late Night Show. Hope everything is okay. Hope everything is all right. I am your host, Andrew Dick. Okay, what's happening on the lovely island of St. Martin? A lot. It's almost the end of the year. This is the time where we reflect on what took place throughout the year. A lot have taken place. And no, this is not a Dick Awards. Dick Awards is going to be on Friday, so wait, wait, and wait. Um, on Thursday, our programming is going to be the top five or ten memorable moments of 2022. Uh, but today, we are giving back to the community by announcing our person, company, um, volunteer, and all of that good stuff of the year. Because late night um, does do politics, but we pay attention to what else is happening on the island as much as it doesn't look so. All right. Um, all right. So first, we start off with the person of the year and the person of the year for the late night show with Andrew Dick. And this is, of course, picked by me and only me. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, nobody else. So don't go and think that it is connected to anything else. This is strictly from the late night team show. Dr. Tashina Thomas. You are our person of the year because of your selfless attitude, your continued contribution to St. Martin by talking to those um, persons dealing with mental health and, of course, um, persons dealing with life on a daily basis. Dr. Tashina Thomas has recently taken over the helm at the Turning Point Foundation and just in a span of a year, she has been able to further the cause of mental health in the community, also making sure that more people talk about it, more people are more open to it, to discuss it at least, and to also recognize that it is a problem on the island. It's not a taboo situation whereby we you know, act as if it doesn't exist, um, but due to, of course, my personal um, ordeal had not much to do with it, but it helped because I got to see firsthand how Dr. Thomas um, deals with clients. She cares very deeply. I don't know how she does it because she has a number of clients that she talks to on a daily basis, whether it's at night, whether it's in the morning, whether it's in the evening, Dr. Thomas is always available while having a whole family. So for that, again, our person of the year, Dr. Thomas, 
Thank you for your continued contribution to St. Martin. And of course, I look forward to your contribution for 2023. But this year was a very interesting year. And um, you deserve all the flowers. You deserve all the glory. As I tell you again, that we appreciate you. And of course, the community, of course, also does with your great work that you do with Turning Point Foundation. And also, your personal business, which is Tizan, um, that deals with organic health products. So, congratulations to the Turning Point team, of course, and um, those at Tizan, well-deserved. Can, can I get a round of applause? <laughs> yes, yes. All right. Um, uh, so. Let me get to volunteer of the year. Volunteer of the year is someone who is, of course, a volunteer. Most of the time, they don't get paid for the work that they do. Um, and that is, of course, Mr. Ahmad Gums. Ahmad Gums, who um, co coincidentally also um, handles the uh, mental health situation awareness um, on St. Martin. Uh, he did a lot this year. Um, he held a school competition. Um, he also held um, some other fundraisers. He assisted the Mental Health Foundation uh, quite a number of times. He was also part of um, different panel discussions just to get the word out. So uh, for that, um, I have to give him the Volunteer Award of the Year. Yeah, Volunteer of the Year. Mr. Ahmad Gums, congratulations to you, sir, and continue doing the great work that you are doing. Um, it does not go unnoticed, for sure. Run of applause. <laughs> All right. Now, um, also, I'm giving away uh, a best MVP of the year. The best MVP of the year goes to somebody who single-handedly does work selfishly. He works in the middle of the street, in the day, the night, the afternoon. Now, whether he has a cup out for donations, that's okay. But my boy, Tommy, Tommy, you are the MVP of the year. You deserve it, my friend. I, uh, we see you. You work very hard uh, in the sun. Please hunk for Tommy when you pass him on the street. Uh, because he stands right in the middle of the street, which is very dangerous, Tommy. He stops standing in the middle of the street. Somebody might knock you down. Jeez. Um, and he fixes the holes, the potholes, um, when he sees them on the road for free. He's like an unpaid government worker. So, therefore, Tommy, he is the MVP of the year, 2022. When I go to um, our politician of the year, I have to look at someone who's, um, I wouldn't say selfless because it's a politician, so I have to be careful, you know? And I don't want to get it mixed up with um, the Dick Awards because the Dick Awards is something else by itself. But the politician of the year is somebody who is true to what they set out to do. And by that, I have to give it to the Minister of Everything, Omar Utley. The reason why he got the Politician of the Year, I don't understand why I have to explain, because you see it with your own eyes. The man was sworn in on April 20th, 2021. Do I need to say this again? He was sworn in as Minister on April 20th, 2021. We are in 2022, and the man is handling two ministries and has done more than any politician has done for quite some time. And I know it's going to be debatable, but I don't care. This is the late night show with Andrew Dick, and therefore, my word is bond. So, congratulations to politician of the year, Omar Otley. He says what he says, he does what he does, and he's unapologetic about it. And if you don't like it, then you agree to disagree. He's the only politician that I can call 
uh, well, one of the many politicians I can call, and he would say, come to my office and let me discuss it. And you know, and that's, 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 that's another thing that was surprising to me because normally politicians are very scared to be seen with me. They just go like, uh, uh, no, no, no. I don't want to be seen with a dick. No, 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 no. And as I always tell them, well, come on, it's not a bad thing. Stop it. We could, be, we could just be cordial. But the minister always has respect for the um, uh, late night show. <laughs> I was going to say the press, but then I remember Jacqueline. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so um, congratulations, stupid politician of the year. And we also have a runner up, and that is um, suspended member of parliament, Claudius Boncampo. The reason why he has to get um, also a politician of the year award is because the man was suspended and still continued informing the public as to what is happening in parliament more than the members of parliament. Crazy. The man was suspended. He could have just chill out at home, hide his face until he could, case get recalled, and then come back like nothing happened. But instead, he decided to have a podcast every Monday, consistently inform people what government is doing, and continued being guests on programs continuing helping the community, continuing being part of the Lions Club, continuing his life, even though he was suspended as a member of parliament. And for that, I have to commend him, no matter the crime of what he is um, convicted for. At the end of the day, he was elected as a member of parliament, and he continued doing his duties, even though he was suspended, and for that, he has to be commended. So, therefore, first runner-up, Politician of the Year, Claudius Boncampo. Politician of the Year for the Late Night Show 2022, Omar Utley. Ah, and it just, just, this just come to me. Plus, he brought again lock up. And he still, he didn't take no time off. Minister Omar Utley still continued working. Like, no problem. Let's get the automatic driver license test going. Let's raise the minimum wage. Let's do a little bit more on the hospital. Let's create a job fair. I could continue more and more, but you get the point. The man is a polit the politician of the year, whether you like it or not. Um, so those were my categories. I had one more, which is complainer of the year, but I was trying to think on whether I should put it in the Dick Awards or I should uh, mention it here on this nice community-oriented program um, for today. Um, but I will do it here. The complainer of the year goes to none other than um, Savage Chris. The reason why I say it goes to him is because he complained the entire year. Entire year. Complainer. Just... The whole year, savage cricks. Yeah. So congratulations to all the winners of the Late Night Awards today. And of course, tune in on Friday for the much anticipated Dick Awards. I can't wait for it. We have a good show for you for that one. And also on Thursday's edition of the Late Night Show, we do the top five or ten memorable moments of 2022. All right, welcome to the Late Night Show. We have a good one for you. Let's begin. I feel like rocking my